Welcome to our lecture online. Now the next three methods are somewhat more advanced than the methods we've seen so far. And we're not going to concentrate on those for the rest of this section of videos and for the rest of the algebra course because it's really more like algebra 2 instead of algebra 1 if you want to think about it that way. But at least we want some context. We now have learned four different methods. We're now going to learn the methods dealing with matrices and determinants which is just for reference. We're not going to do any additional exercises, not at least here. You can see more of those types of problems when you go to what we call the pre-calculus section and we already have a lot of those methods developed with all kinds of examples. But here we're going to put that in context with what we've already learned. So what we're going to do first, because notice this is going to be a two-part a video for the row echelon form. First we're going to learn how to put a system of linear equations into a matrix format. So first what we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite this in the format of x or ax plus by equals c. We're going to put both equations into this format. So when we do that notice we want to put um, uh, y on the other side and 2 over here. So the first equation Let's go like this. We're going to write it like that. We're going to write the first equation as um, minus x plus y equals 2. And then I don't like the negative in front, so I'm going to write this as a positive x, so I can write this as an x minus y equals negative 2. So there's the first equation written in that form, ax plus by equals c. Then we're going to take our second equation, we're going to take this and move the other side, and that becomes, when we write it, that becomes positive 2x plus y equals 8. And so we don't have to change that, that is, everything is positive here, so this becomes equation number 2. So now, the way we can write this is as follows. We can say that the matrix, so this can now be represented in a matrix format. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the coefficients of x and y. So we have 1 for x, a negative 1 for y, we have a 2 for x, and a 1 for y. And then here we're going to have a second matrix. We're going to put in the variables x and y, and we're going to set that equal to a third matrix, which is going to be the two, coefficient, the two constants here, minus 2 and 8. And what I'm claiming is that this representation of equations 1 and 2 is exactly the same mathematically as this format right here, which is what we call the matrix format. And let me explain. This means we're going to multiply these two matrices together to get this matrix. So here, notice, we're going to multiply these elements in this row times these elements in this column. So we're going to take 1 times x, 1 times x, Okay, move out of sight. 1 times x, and then I'm going to add to that the product of these two, which is negative 1 times y, so that's minus 1y, equals this number right here, minus 2. And notice that's the exact same thing that I have over there. For the second equation, I'm going to take this row and multiply it times this column, so 2 times x, plus 1 times y, is equal to this number right there. And so, notice we get the exact same two equations by multiplying these two matrices together and set it equal to that matrix right over there. And so, what we're saying is that these two equations in this form is exactly the same as, those two, as that form, what we call the matrix format of the two equations. So, it's a good thing to know if you're getting into matrix algebra, but if you don't, it's just interesting to see. And on the second video, part two, we're actually going to use that to solve the system of linear equations using the row echelon form. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, you don't want to solve it in this one. Because I want to do those two things separately. I wanted to present the information separately so we can kind of um, get a feel for how to do the matrix format and then separately how to do the row echelon form. 